Punching bag. Just gave me a next gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so, how about it? And let your tongue be amazed. All things. Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? 
How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun, right? Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? No, really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date, me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know?
Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. We'll see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. <laughs> uh, Vicky, surprise every old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but... This might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. 
I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot. For you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, I... yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town. They lost their listen, spiritual connection. I've got this delicate matter. Well, That's why I called you. You know, 
The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all time in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose exactly. to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. Sure. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. 
told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. life or blaze of glory hmm later now Dexter, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Clem to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. about Militech. Nothing yet. Ah, good. My vote's to keep it that way, right? Waiting for you at All Foods, you know? Not getting any younger.
Háblame. What you decide to do about Militech? Nothing yet. Ah, good. My vote's to keep it that way, right? Waiting for you at All Foods, you know? Not getting any younger. Thank <laughs> you.